Welcome back everyone to another episode of App Today. I'm your reviewer, Michael Baturin, and today we'll be going through a music app named Pandora. Please stay with us as we go through this exciting and great application. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing Pandora. Uh, this is a very uh, kind of famous music player that a lot of people have used over the last few years, both uh, online and on their iPhones. And now it has uh, come to uh, iPad. Um, it's actually been on the iPad for a while uh, from the first one, but I wanted to give you guys a quick demo of it. So let's launch Pandora. And uh, right away you see that there is a very nice layout. So uh, it kind of takes what they've done on the iPhone, um, except what it does is blow out your stations on the left. The uh, Some information about what's playing right there is the kind of biggest part of the screen that you see. Uh, and above the top you have the album art and the song playing. Um, you also have uh, the option to hit menu, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can bookmark this track, artist, um, buy from iTunes, or find the artist in iTunes, which is cool. Um, you can also give it a thumbs up if you do like that song. Um, Notice that at the bottom left there's some ads that will pop up from time to time. Um, you know what, they're giving you a free uh, music service here, um, so unless you want to pay for the uh, one year, I think it's six dollars premium service that they have to get rid of those ads. Uh, otherwise, you can keep them there. They're not very distractive, um, and they only uh, pop up once in a while. You'll also get uh, occasional advertisements uh, through voice. Uh, you know, in between songs, it'll give you a little ad for something. They don't usually last more than fifteen seconds or so, and then it's back to straight music. Um, so, for those of you who are familiar with Pandora, it's somewhat. Um, your stations are on the left. For those of you who aren't, the way it works is you basically pick a, an artist or a song, um, and Pandora will play songs that are like that artist or song. So let's say in the top left I add a song, um, an artist or song. So just uh, I'll put E um, dot T for uh, that new song that's out. And so you notice it makes a new station. And the new station is called ET Radio, so uh, it'll play songs that are like that. So you notice the first thing it plays here is the Rihanna S&M song. It'll give you a lot of information about Rihanna, as I stated earlier. It will let me give this uh, a thumbs up after it plays for a little bit. Um, I can also quick mix all my stations, um, which in my case is a lot. Um, and if you go uh, online, you can add to stations. So you can't do that here, but uh, online you can actually say, well, I also like this artist or this song, and you can create stations based on multiple artists or multiple songs. So the more you put into it, the more it knows you, and the better the music it'll play. So that's a pretty quick um, uh, tutorial here. Uh, just some options. You see there's higher quality audio. There's auto lock. You can upgrade to Pandora 1. That's the service that I was telling you about. And besides that, it's pretty straightforward. So um, that's all for this episode. Uh, for Pandora, I give it 10 out of 10. It's basically free music for you. Um, based on what you like, you find new artists. Uh, it's great. So I uh, hope everyone will join me next time for my next review on iPad and iPhone applications. This is iPad Today. Have a good day.